listening. Um, I don't want to bring the tone down, but I just want to tell a little bit about the history of the campaign for those who haven't heard it before, because we've got so many new groups here. These brave cleaners started their campaign eight years ago, when they faced over three months of wages missing. And they came to the union, and the union made them get paid. They forced, I, back then, a company called Ocean to pay them. And in the light of this unionisation, they found the horrible discrimination and massive intimidation that they faced as outsourced workers. Things like not getting sick pay when they were off for more than three days. Not even getting time off to visit their family in Latin America for over five years. It was horrible. So the students and workers came together to fight this campaign for them to be brought in-house, to have the loving living wage and have equal rights as those, in, those who are employed in-house. And this campaign has covered a lot of ground in those eight years. Last year, we carried out a survey of 1,300 people on SOAS, and 98% of them told management they wanted to be brought in-house. And what did management do? Ignored them. So that's how we got here. We're on a strike. We've had a long journey here. Hundreds of student support, hundreds of staff support. And now we're calling on them to bring the cleaners in-house, to treat them with respect and dignity that they deserve. You know, tomorrow, we're going to show them how important the cleaners are to this institution when it is broken without them. Yes. So I want, I want to thank everyone so much for coming, and I want to thank the cleaners for their bravery in fighting this battle. Um, I, just, I just want to um, thank everyone for coming and to emphasise how crucial everyone's support is. So as Abby says, the campaign's been going on for quite a few years now, and it's built and built and built. And thanks to the support of the SARS community, it's been incredibly strong. And we have shown that as a community, we support the cleaners, and we believe that they should be treated with dignity and respect, and that there is no place for discrimination, intimidation, or victimization on our campus, and that we reject it. As a result of this overwhelming support from the SARS community, the SARS management had to respond. They had to respond to the referendum in which 98.2% of, um, of members of the SARS community who voted, voted for the cleaners to be brought in the house. They had to respond, and they responded by setting up um, a working group that would look into outsourced contracts. And this working group was entirely farcical from the start. They did everything possible to make it completely unrepresentative, to, to skirt around all of the important issues, um, and all such things. And because of the pressure we put on them, they allowed two representatives from the campaign, two student representatives, to come and present uh, to, to make the case for the cleaners being brought in house. And myself and Kristen Brun, the great Kristen Brun, who's, uh, <laughs> who's, <laughs> who's back in Denmark. Um, so we went to, we presented. Um, and we made, you know, we, we stated the case, we said why students, um, why students believe that support the cleaners and their demands uh, for sick pay, holiday pay and pensions and to be brought in house, uh, both on ethical and moral reasons, uh, for the fact that SARS should practice what it preaches in regards to human rights, equality and social justice, um, and also financial and practical um, reasons because the, the cleaners demands are entire completely make sense in terms of management's purview as a sort of running SARS as a business uh, it makes it makes complete sense financially so we made all of those cases and they and they weren't they weren't interested in any of these arguments instead they said that uh, Christian and I had socialist agendas um, and that we were doing this for for our own benefit somehow um, and the, the cleaners did not have the support of the students of the service community. And this is the argument they use time and time and time again. And there's no evidence for it. They just refuse to acknowledge the support. So that's why it's so, so crucial that everyone is here today showing their support, showing their solidarity, because that's what management uses against us. They claim that we don't have it. So we have to show it again and again and again, bigger and bigger and bigger. So thank you so much for being here today. It's absolutely crucial. Um, please continue to show your support tomorrow. Tomorrow we will, like, you know, we're asking people to go inside, to sort of c contribute to the mess that will be so us when the cleaners aren't there. Um, and to show us, to show us, to show the management how vital their work is and how vital they are to the functioning of this university. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much for showing your support today. There will also be speeches and, and uh, teach outs by academics and, and music tomorrow. So do come along and spread the word and please continue to show your support because it's crucial. And when we come together as a community, we can win. So I should be running all of our interests. So we can win together. Thank you very much.
Thank you, George Harari. Thank you. Of course, of course, we will win us tomorrow. We will get this benefits we, we asked for. So us. I want to thank also the family.